Dr. Joe showing you something else that's talked about a lot, the health effects of low-dose radiation. You can't ever see that without being aware of the fact that there was a real interesting thing that happened just prior to World War II. Uh, just as people were going in the Air Force, uh, there were uh, about 7,000 young men, 18 or so, that was going to were going to be in a place where they were going to fly for the United States. It was assumed that they would be doing a, a lot of flying that was regular and not so regular and would be killed at some point. And therefore, this was very, very um, uh, destructive to a lot of people as they would think about this at that time. However, uh, after the war was over and everything was done, there were still a little less than 2,000 people who did not die. They had received radiation, though, because all of them had great big tonsils, and they didn't have time to do surgery and all these things, so they just ultimately radiated them. I mean strong. A lot of uh, uh, reason to think this would cause a lot of cancer. But they found all the people who came back as veterans after flying, and guess what they found? extremely low levels of cancer, probably none at all to speak of. Uh, then they were talking about various other things that could have stopped that. But the interesting thing is that those young men came back and they basically were just fine and they didn't mind getting the radiation at all. So when you think about it, there's all sorts of things you might have exposure to, but it's really not in a, in a place that is going to bother you at all. So it may not be your time.